Before humans went into space, several other animals were launched into space, including numerous other primates, so that scientists could investigate the biological effects of space travel. The United States launched flights containing primate passengers primarily between 1948 to 1961 with one flight in 1969 and one in 1985. France launched two monkey-carrying flights in 1967. The Soviet Union and Russia launched monkeys between 1983 and 1996. Most primates were anesthetized before lift-off. Overall 32 monkeys flew in the space program, none flew more than once. Numerous backup monkeys also went through the programs but never flew. Monkeys and apes from several species were used, including rhesus macaque, crab-eating macaque, squirrel monkeys, pig-tailed macaques, and chimpanzees. United States The first primate astronaut was Albert, a rhesus macaque, who on June 11, 1948, rode to over 63 kilometers 39 miles on a V-2 rocket. Albert died of suffocation during the flight. Albert was followed by Albert II who survived the V-2 flight but died on impact on June 14, 1949, after a parachute failure. Albert II became the first monkey and the first primate in space as his flight reached 134 kilometers 83 miles past the Kármán line of 100 kilometers taken to designate the beginning of space. Albert III died at 35,000 feet kilometers in an explosion of his V-2 on September 16, 1949. Albert IV, on the last Monkey V-2 flight, died on impact on December 8 that year after another parachute failure. His flight reached 130.6 km. Albert's, I, II, and IV were rhesus macaque while Albert III was a crab-eating macaque. Monkeys later flew on aerobie rockets. On April 18, 1951, a monkey, possibly called Albert V, died due to parachute failure. Yorick, also called Albert VI, along with 11 mouse crewmates, reached 236,000 feet miles) and survived the landing. On September 20, 1951, the first monkey to do so, the dogs Desik and Sagan, had survived a trip to space in July of that year, although he died two hours later. Two of the mice also died after recovery. All of the deaths were thought to be related to stress from overheating in the sealed capsule in the New Mexico sun while awaiting the recovery team. Albert VI's flight surpassed the 50 mile boundary the U.S. used for spaceflight but was below the international definition of space. Patricia and Mike, two Cinemulgus monkeys, flew on May 21, 1952, and survived, but their flight was only to 26 km. On December 13, 1958, Gordo, also called Old Reliable, a squirrel monkey, survived being launched aboard Jupiter AM-13 by the U.S. Army. He was killed due to mechanical failure of the parachute recovery system in the rocket nose cone. On May 28, 1959, aboard the Jupiter AM-18, Abel, a rhesus macaque, and Miss Baker, a squirrel monkey flew a successful mission. Abel was born at the Ralph Mitchell Zoo in Independence, Kansas. They traveled in excess of 16,000 km per hour, and withstood 38 grams 373 meters per square second. Abel died June 1, 1959, while undergoing surgery to remove an infected medical electrode, from a reaction to the anesthesia. Baker became the first monkey to survive the stresses of spaceflight and the related medical procedures. Baker died November 29, 1984, at the age of 27 and is buried on the grounds of the United States Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Abel was preserved, and is now on display at the Smithsonian Institution's National Air and Space Museum. 
Their names were taken from the 1943 to 1955 U.S. military phonetic alphabet. On December 4, 1959, Sam, a rhesus macaque, flew on the Little Joe II in the Mercury program to 53 miles high. Miss Sam, also a rhesus macaque, followed in 1960, on Little Joe 1B although her flight was only to 8 miles 13 km in a test of emergency procedures. Ham and Enos also flew in the Mercury program but they were chimpanzees. The names Sam and Ham were acronyms. Sam was named in homage to the School of Aerospace Medicine at Brooks Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas. The name Ham was taken from Holloman Aerospace Medicine at Holloman Air Force Base, New Mexico. Goliath, a squirrel monkey, died in the explosion of his Atlas rocket on November 10, 1961. A rhesus macaque called Scatback flew a sub-orbital flight on December 20, 1961, but was lost at sea after landing. Bonnie, a pigtailed macaque, flew on Biosatellite 3, a mission which lasted from June 29 to July 8, 1969. This was the first multi-day monkey flight but came after longer human spaceflights were common. He died within a day of landing. Spacelab 3 on the Space Shuttle flight STS-51B featured two squirrel monkeys named No. 3165 and No. 384-80. The flight was from April 29 to May 6, 1985. France France launched a pigtailed macaque named Martine on a Vesta rocket on March 7, 1967, and another named Pierrette on March 13. These suborbital flights reached 243 km (151 miles) and 234 km (145 miles), respectively. Martine became the first monkey to survive more than a couple of hours after flying above the international definition of the edge of space. Ham and Enos, launched earlier by the United States, had been chimpanzees. <inaudible> <inaudible> Soviet Union and Russia The Soviet, Russian space program used only rhesus macaques in its Beyond Satellite program in 1980s and 1990s. The names of the monkeys began with sequential letters of the Russian alphabet A, B, V, G, D, E, E, Z. The animals all survived their missions but for a single fatality in post-flight surgery, after which the program was cancelled. The first monkeys launched by Soviet space program, Abrek and Bion, flew on Bion 6. They remained aloft from December 14, 1983 to December 20, 1983. Next came Bion 7 with monkeys Verney and Gordy from July 10, 1985 to July 17, 1985. Then Dryoma and Yerosha on Beyond 8 from September 29, 1987 to October 12, 1987. After returning from space Dryoma was presented to Cuban leader Fidel Castro. Beyond 9 with monkeys Jaconia and Zabayaka followed from September 15, 1989 to September 28, 1989. The two took the space endurance record for monkeys at 13 days, 17 hours in space. Monkeys Krosh and Ivasha flew on Beyond 10 from December 29, 1992 to January 7, 1993. Krosh produced offspring, after rehabilitation upon returning to Earth. Lapik and Multik were the last monkeys in space until Iran launched one of its own in 2013. The pair flew aboard Beyond 11 from December 24, 1996, to January 7, 1997. Upon return, Multik died while under anesthesia for U.S. biopsy sampling on January 8. Lapik nearly died while undergoing the identical procedure. 
No follow-up research has been conducted to determine whether these two incidents, together with the 1959 loss of the U.S. monkey Abel in post-flight surgery, contraindicate the administration of anesthesia during or shortly after spaceflights. Further U.S. support of the BEYOND program was cancelled. Argentina. On December 23, 1969, as part of the Operation Navidad Operation Christmas, Argentina launched WAN, a tufted capuchin, native to Argentina's Misiones province, using a two-stage Rigel 04 rocket. It ascended perhaps up to 82 km and then was recovered successfully. Other sources give 30, 60 or 72 km. All of these are below the international definition of space 100 km. Later, on the February 1, 1970 the experience was repeated with a female monkey of the same species using a X-1 Panther rocket. Although it reached a higher altitude than its predecessor, it was lost after the capsule's parachute failed. China The PRC spacecraft Shenzhou-2 launched on January 9, 2001. Inside the re-entry module, precise information is lacking due to the secrecy surrounding China's space program a monkey, dog, and rabbit rode aloft in a test of the spacecraft's life support systems. The SZ-2 re-entry module landed in Inner Mongolia on January 16. No images of the recovered capsule appeared in the press, leading to the widespread inference that the flight ended in failure. According to press reports citing an unnamed source, a parachute connection malfunction caused a hard landing. Cheng, Ho February 27, 2001 confusion and mystery of Shenzhou 2 mission deepens space daily retrieved the 13th of December 2010 topic <inaudible> Iran On January 28, 2013 AFP and Sky News reported that Iran had sent a monkey in a pishkum rocket to a height of 72 miles 116 kilometers and retrieved shipment Iranian media gave no details on the timing or location of the launch while details that were reported raised questions about the claim pre-flight and post-flight photos clearly showed different monkeys the confusion was due to the publishing of an archive photo from 2011 by the Iranian student news agency ISNA. According to Jonathan McDowell, a Harvard astronomer, "...they just mixed that footage with the footage of the 2013 successful launch." On December 14, 2013, AFP and BBC reported that Iran again sent a monkey to space and safely returned it. Rhesus macaque Aftab, the 28th of January 2013, and Fargam, the 14th of December 2013, were each launched separately into space and safely returned. Researchers continue to study the effects of the space trip on their offspring. Equals equals see also.